Hey there, welcome to my channel. Uh, you're probably trying to figure out uh, a problem of something around your house with a basketball hoop. Well, um, I'm gonna explain what I did recently for a basketball hoop on our sloped driveway and what I used. So I started with a trip down to Home Depot and I was able to grab um, 12, uh, 12 by 12 stones, I grabbed 12 of those and I was able to make a little platform for a new basketball hoop that we were getting. And so um, in order for there not to be a slope on the driveway or a slope on the basketball hoop, I wanted to flatten out where the basketball hoop sat. And I did that with just some manual labor. It took probably an hour to get the whole thing situated. This was my first time ever doing pavers, did a little bit of research, learned a lot on the job. And um, so what happened is uh, I'll put this up. So I started digging the hole uh, in the ground. I used a, um, a digging shovel and a flat transfer shovel to get it nice and level. So switching shovels out there, you can kind of see I'm starting to scrape out the even, uh, even side and then took the dirt away in my yard for some, some other project that I'm gonna use. But basically trying to get that as level as possible, um, I would say the one thing that I would change here is I would probably level it a little bit better with the level before we came through. So I just kind of relied on the mm -hmm. link sand. Didn't have a ton of time to do this, but used, instead of using like bags of paver base, this black board is actually called paver base. And so you can get different versions and sizes of that. And so I grabbed three of those to make uh, it level in the platform big enough for my basketball hoop. And so um, I had a tamper and I was able to tamp that down. And then once I was done, I threw some sand on top. Um, you'll see it real quick here and then kind of brushed it in. So this is what it looks like finished. Um, I don't have any video of me using the corkscrew screws to screw those in. Um, those are ratchet straps. So basically um, this is our driveway. I've got a net so the ball doesn't go into the yard for a five-year-old. And uh, on the hoop, I've got those two different ratchet straps and there's corkscrews that I use. Um, I'll link that below as well, but that was to be able to help um, me move the basketball hoop if I needed to for some reason. Um, if it was the HOA, if it was for 